Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video I'm gonna show you how to hack an old 3DS or 2DS that you, like me, happen to update to the latest unhackable firmware from Nintendo, or in other words the notorious version 11.17.0. Yes, it's hackable now, but you're gonna need a few things. First off, if you have a new 3DS, new 3DS XL or new 2DS XL from EU, US or Japan, there is a free software hack that you can use to hack your console. But I won't show you how to do that today. I will show you how to hack the slightly more problematic 3DS, 3DS XL and 2DS and there's a little catch. I'm sorry to say that you will have to get yourself a copy of Mario Kart 7 if you haven't already got it. Both the cartridge version or the digital version will do, and I bet they will start selling out as soon as this method is more widely known, so I will leave an affiliate link to where you can buy it if you don't already have it in your possession. But that's not all. You will also need a 2DS or 3DS that has already been hacked. That hacked console can hack your console using Mario Kart 7's local wireless multiplayer. Don't worry, I will show you how everything is done and it's quite easy if you just follow my steps. So I guess you can summarize it like this. The great news is that your old 3DS or 2DS is now hackable. The bad news is that you will need to get Mario Kart 7 and an already hacked console to hack it. But once you manage to get your hands on that, all you will have to do is to follow my brief instructions in this video and you will have a hacked console in no time. Now let's jump into it. Apart from the things I just mentioned, since this hack is for the older versions of the 3DS and 2DS, we will also need a micro SD card adapter, like this one from Samsung, and a micro SD card of your choice. In this guide we have both our unhacked 2DS and the already hacked 2DS that we will use to hack our console, and we need to prepare the SD cards for both consoles. So I will refer to them as the source SD card, which is the already hacked console, and the target SD card, which is the console we want to hack. Now then, time to download all the files we need for this to work. Go to the 3DS Hacks site that I have linked to in the video description and download all the files that you see under the What You Need section to your computer. Also, please note that you can only hack a US console using an already hacked US console and a US version of Mario Kart 7. It's all region specific, so mind your versions before starting the hacking process. Once all files have been downloaded, put them on your computer desktop and insert the source SD card into your computer. The source SD card is the SD card from the already hacked console. So once your SD card pops up, open the Luma 3DS zip file and copy the boot.firm to the root of your SD card. This will update your hacked console's current Luma 3DS version to the latest version of Luma 3DS. Replace any existing file while doing this. Next, go inside the Luma folder, create a folder named plugins if you don't already have it, open it up and create another folder and this folder is named differently depending on if you have a US, EU or Japanese version of the 3DS or 2DS. I have a European version so I will name it like this, but you will name it like the picture I show you in the right corner depending on your region. I hope that was understandable enough, and once that is done, drag and drop the plugin.3gx file into the folder you just created. And once you have done this, you are done with the source SD card, and you can eject it and put it back in the already hacked 3DS. Keep in mind that you won't lose any data from the already hacked console, if anything you will just make it more up to date as you will install the latest Luma 3DS on it by doing this. Now insert the target SD card into your computer. This is the SD card from the unhacked 3DS or 2DS. Now there are quite a few more steps we need to do on this SD card, so make sure to follow all my steps here. First, copy the boot.firm and boot.3dsx from the Luma 3DS zip file to the root of your SD card. The root of your SD card refers to the initial directory on your SD card where you can see the Nintendo 3DS folder but are not inside of it. And once that is done, create a folder named boot 9 strap on the root of your SD card and copy boot 9 strapfirm and boot 9 strapfirmsha from the bootstrap.zip to the bootstrap folder on your SD card. Go 
Go back to the root of your SD card and now open the safe B9 installer zip archive and copy the safe B9 installer dot bin from the zip file to the root of your SD card. Now go ahead and create a new folder on the root of your SD card named 3DS. Go inside that folder and copy the nimdsfax folder from the nimdsfax zip over to the 3ds folder. Also go inside the menu hacks zip folder and copy the menu hacks 67 underscore installer dot 3dsx into the same 3ds folder on your SD card. Lastly, go back to the root of your SD card and copy the launcher.dat file for your specific model and region inside the menu hacks zip folder to the root of your SD card. And if you followed all my steps, your SD card should look something like this. Go back in the video if you missed something, otherwise eject your SD card and put it back in your unhacked target 3DS or 2DS. On your hacked console, press the left shoulder button, D-pad down and select to bring up the Rosalina menu. From here, select plugin loaders and make sure it says enabled. Once done, press B until you back out completely from the Rosalina menu. Power off your hacked console completely. Make sure that your cartridge of Mario Kart 7 is inserted. Press and hold start while you power on your console to enter God Mode 9. Navigate down to C semicolon game chart. Then press A on the title that ends with dot trim dot 3ds to select it and then select NCSD image options and lastly select install game image. Press A to unlock SysNand level 1 writing, then input the key combo given in the screen and the installation process will begin. By doing this we install the game, in this case Mario Kart 7, from the cartridge to our NAND instead. And if we don't do this, the hack will freeze the console later and force us to reboot the device. As you can see this will take a few minutes and once the process is complete, the game will show up in our home menu as a newly installed title. Alright, it's downhill from here. Now it's time to hack our device. Launch Mario Kart 7 that we just installed and once up and running, navigate to local multiplayer. A menu should pop up and if you for some reason have launched this hack before, the last selected settings will be loaded. If they are correct, select use settings, otherwise select change settings to the right ones. Start by selecting your 3DS type, I'm going with the old 3DS family which is the category for the old 2DS's as well. Then select the upper injector which is the hack for firmware version 11.17. A confirmation menu will show up, click on use settings. Now click on create a group and put your already hacked 2DS or 3DS to the side. On your unhacked device open the download and play app. Click on Nintendo 3DS and then join the recently created group or LAN game created by the Source 3DS. Click OK on your unhacked device if you're asked to download the title and then click on Start on your hacked device. Your unhacked device will start downloading the game from your hacked device and once that is complete, navigate to Grand Prix 50cc Select any driver and vehicle. Choose Mushroom Cup and hit OK. Your hacked device will start transferring the exploit to your unhacked device. It will take a while and once completed, your unhacked device will be booted into the 3DS ROP exploit injector. From this menu, press Y and D-pad down at the same time to install menu hack 67. The console should automatically power off, so power it back on. And once booted, click on the home menu settings icon in the top left corner on the bottom of your screen and you will be greeted with a familiar menu. If your exploit was successful, your console will now have booted into the homebrew launcher. Launch NIMDS facts from the list of homebrews. 
And once again, if you have done everything as I have shown you and the exploit was successful, you should now be booted into the safe B9S installer. Wait a few seconds and when prompted, input the key combo given on the top screen to install boot 9 strap. Once completed, press A to reboot your device into the Luma 3DS menu. You don't need to do anything here, just click start to save and reboot. From this point, your device will boot into Luma 3DS by default. And now there's just one more thing we need to do before you want to finalize the hack and install all the homebrews etc that you want. And that is to remove the menu hack 67 so you can access the home menu settings option normally instead of launching into the homebrew menu all the time. Open, download and play. And once you see the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo DS buttons, press the left shoulder button, D-pad down and select at the same time to open the Rosalina menu. Scroll down and select miscellaneous options. Select switch the HB dot title to the current app. Press B a few times until you back out of the Rosalina menu. Press home to suspend download and play. And then press close to close download and play. Relaunch Download and Play, which should now take you to the Homebrew Launcher instead. Launch MenuHacks 67 underscore installer from the list and then select Remove MenuHacks 67. And that's it! Your unhackable 2DS or 3DS with firmware 11.17.0 is now hacked and ready to be filled with games and homebrews. The process to install homebrews and ROMs is exactly as I have already showed you in my other 2DS hacking guide, so I will link to that exact second in the video description. So once you're done watching this video, head over to that video to learn how to install homebrews and games. Thanks a lot for watching this video, if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and give me a comment if you enjoyed watching it. Also consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps out. Catch you in the next one, Tech Cravers out!